Let's please welcome to the show the player, Benny Scala. Benny, you there? I'm here. There Thanks he for is, having baby. me. There he is. He's there. Great folks. to be here. Great, great to have you here, Benny. You know, we're talking Hall of Fame here, and I wanted you to join the show tonight to talk just a little bit about what's going on. What are your thoughts on this year's Hall of Fame inductees so far? Well, uh, so far, and we I think we all agree on this, very underwhelming so far. We got, you know, we got Muhammad Ali, well-deserved. I mean, all these, all these people are well-deserved. The question, the problem isn't who, you know, who doesn't deserve to go in. It's who's, who does and isn't, you know, has not been asked yet. You got U.S. Exactly. Express, Paul Heyman, Bull Nakano, and, and Thunderbolt or Thundermouth, yeah. as Ernie Ladd used to call him, Patterson. <laughs> Great inductees, you know, but... I right. did a little bit of research, and I was surprised yep. at how many legendary wrestlers are not in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I, I put out a um, post the last couple of days here featuring these people. I mean, look at them. We have some people here that have been in the industry a long, a very long time. We have a former world champion, your favorite, Ivan Koloff there. Uh, China, only women to hold the Intercontinental title. Tony Gurria and Rick Martel. I mean, Tony Guerrero, five-time tag team champion. Rick Martel, a tag team champion. Two no times. brainers. All no of them. Yes, AWA world heavyweight champion and still nothing. Happy birthday to Rick Martel. By the way, he turned 68 today, believe it or not. Wow. Um, Cindy Lauper. I mentioned that the other day. Cindy Lauper, not in the Hall of Fame, but if it weren't for the Rock and Wrestling Connection, there'd be no WrestleMania one. If you think about it, Cindy Lauper, very, very um, influential in that era. And, of course, if you go to the bottom right, you have Demolition, another tag team overlooked. Uh, Owen Hart, the late Owen Hart. Now, Martha Hart, there's a story coming out today uh, that Martha Hart um, d turned down Hall of Fame induction uh, for uh, Owen years ago because she doesn't want to be involved with Vince McMahon. Now that Vince McMahon is no longer with the WWE TKO, whatever you want to call it now, uh, there is a story going out there that she may reconsider and having him put in, which should be Just hoping for that. unbelievable. Yeah. Of course, Miss Elizabeth, still not in the Hall of Fame. I mean, she was the first lady in professional wrestling. Uh, that managed um, a WWE superstar in Randy the Macho Man Savage, the late Randy. And, of course, my mentor, Bill Apter, who, if you pick up a wrestling magazine back in the day, he was the man who took all the photographs and even had some articles. Uh, Pro Wrestling Illustrated, The Wrestler, um, Sports Review Wrestling, all of them. And, of course, Inside Wrestling. These people deserve it. You know what I mean, Benny? Um, Ivan Koloff, what are your thoughts? World Heavyweight Champion. Everybody else is in but him. What's the deal? Yeah. I mean, again, you know, the, the guy scored what I believe is the most significant victory in the history of uh, professional wrestling. January 18th, 1971, yeah. Madison Square Garden, sold out crowd, you know, beats Bruno clean in the middle of the ring. Then right. Bruno's seven year, uh, eight month reign. And Bruno thought he had hearing damage because yeah. the people were so quiet. They sure. couldn't, you know, they, they thought maybe when he, when Koloff jumped off the, uh, the top rope that he hit into him and maybe gave him some ear damage, but, uh, you know, uh, people just, they were in shock, absolute yeah. shock. Yeah. And that was a long reign for Bruno at the time. And I, I, I know we requested a break and so forth. So it was kind of weird having him drop the title like that. Uh, Ivan Koloff, then he, I do believe what Pedro Morales beat him for the title. Yeah, Ivan had it for, I think, 21 days and then yeah, Pedro won after that wasn't long but yeah some of these yeah i feel i love paul Heyman, but when you make him the headline you know aka not a not a wrestler but more of a promoter announcer good promo guy all that stuff when he's the headline of the show you got you, yeah you already know kind of that some of these people aren't going in um you know we've talked about it i'll put it back up real quick here demolition is high on everybody's list if you google wdb hall of fame who should be in there demolition is in the top five no 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 doubt and yeah and jay will made a and he this was on my list yeah. too jay will said in the chat room that uh yeah. he should also go in as the mass superstar bill Eady, one of the greatest uh, oh the mass superstar mass yeah. ever so, yep the mass superstar i saw him he was influential with the bob backland feud to injure him so to speak and that set up the um iron chic segment with the clubs and all that said, Backlund had a bad shoulder. Oh, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? He was influenced. I love the mass superstar. Um, he used to create havoc when I used to see him at the garden back in the day. So uh, that is somebody that should be in the hall of fame. Anybody else real quickly before we move on? Well, yeah. Uh, let's see. I got Butch Reed. Uh, you you yeah. just mentioned Tony Gurria, uh, Dominic yeah. Danucci, Wildfire Tommy Rich. Oh, that's Definitely. No Tommy brainer. Wild Bill, Wild Bull Curry. 
Back yeah. in the day, I think he won the uh, the Texas Brass Knuckles Championship, I think, 27 times. You got Ken Patera, uh, Spiros Arion, who was a huge heel in the late 70s against These are guys that headline. These are headliners, folks. These yeah. are main eventers. Uh, you know, you got uh, Waldo Von Eric. Now, Greg Valentine is in, but I don't think Johnny Valentine is in. Johnny Valentine was a legend. Yeah. You Johnny, got Victor I, Rivera, Gene Kaniski, yeah. uh, NWA champion for, I think, four years. Billy Robinson, one of the greatest shooters in the history of wrestling. Danny right. Hodge. Uh, yep, Danny got, Hodge. Now, how about these, Joe? Both What's Dick that? the Bruiser and the Crusher. I don't understand that one. They ruled Chicago back in the day. And if for you look, years, if you look years at a wrestling and, magazine, and also those, the uh, yeah. destroyer, Dick Byer. Yeah. These are a lot of uh, guys that should be in the Hall of Fame. I, you know what? You know what's really funny though is they don't tell you who's putting who who the people are putting these people into the Hall of Fame. They say right. it's WWE, but what's it comprised of? Do we have executives? Is it Triple H? Um, I hate to say it, but it's Vince McMahon working behind the scenes. This, this is his baby. So, but I, you know, I don't know. I just don't know who is putting these people in and how they come up with this type of class. Now, hopefully we, we, we got three weeks out, two weeks out for WrestleMania. Will they add more people? We don't know that. I mean, very I hope they do very underwhelming, yeah. very short final thoughts on that. Yeah. I mean, I, so my theory is it, we, they have WWE, in my opinion, has lulled us to sleep with this WrestleMania so right. far. I mean, the last two PLEs, Jimmy yeah. used the word, what uh, serviceable. Oh uh, yeah. I, I'm, serviceable. I'm, I'm using the word like, you know, very underwhelming. This yeah. hall of fame induction so far is very yeah. underwhelming. My hope. And I really do believe this is sure. that they are going to knock us on our asses and they're going to give us, they're going to deliver for WrestleMania. I, we're not, I don't think we're going to be disappointed. Both from the Hall of Fame perspective and, and, you know, and the card. Right. It's a huge weekend. I mean, they have SmackDown after SmackDown's the Hall of Fame ceremony. You got NXT stand delivered during the day on Saturday. Then you got WrestleMania one night one and then WrestleMania two. I mean, WrestleMania on night two, Sunday, then that Raw. So you're going to be, I don't know how many hours. That's close to almost 25, 30 hours, maybe more of WWE programming. If you're a dedicated fan like me, of course, I'll be tuning in and so forth. But uh, yeah, will they deliver? I just hope that the Hall of Fame class is not transferred over into what WrestleMania will be. So we shall see with that. So Benny, guess what? I'm going to see you in about 24 hours on the 30 Wrestling Oddest Game Show. I'm predicting one of us is going to take that championship away from Dan. I hope so. I hope so. I'd like to go one-on-one with you again. That'd be kind of neat. Yeah, yeah. One of, we're, we're, I mean, you're overdue, and I, I think I was yeah. robbed last week in my uh, my quest for a three-peat. Yeah, a three-peat. Got to love that. Got to love that. All right, so, Benny, it was great to hear from you. I'll see you tomorrow night. I'm moving right. on now, okay? Thanks, Thanks for joining me. Have a good night.